we're going to look at two different products from the same brand. Both of these products are for urinary care, but one of them requires a prescription and the other one doesn't. So product number one on the left, the name product name is called With Chicken. And on the right, product number two, the product name is Chicken Recipe. And if you're not familiar with AFCO label guidelines and rules, these are very important to understand. So with chicken means that the minimum requirement is 3% and it does not exceed 24.9%. Whereas chicken recipe, that means the minimum requirement is 25% and the max is 94.9% in this case of chicken. So the left product we have less than 25% chicken, and on the right, we have at least 25% chicken. The next big difference on the left, product number one, we have 43% carbs on a dry matter basis, and the product on the right, product number two, has 32% carbs. And this is taken directly from the product's website. So this isn't an approximation, this is what the brand is telling us this is the number of carbs that are in this product. And it made sense that product number two has less carbs because it actually has more chicken than the product on the left. Both of these products are dry and the moisture content is 8%, which doesn't make sense considering these cats that would need this food would have urinary problems and Water, aka moisture, is essential for life for all cats, for all of us, but especially for cats with urinary problems because you need water to properly urinate. And this food is very dehydrating. It's only 8% moisture when the cat's natural prey is 70% moisture. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cat better can find this video. Thank you. So with the prescription food, they say that they add a few different things to help with inflammation and to help prevent urinary crystals. So we'll take a look at the ingredients and highlight the ones that are included in both. So the first thing that they add is potassium citrate to inhibit calcium oxalate crystals and uroliths. Now, both of these products have that ingredient in it. Next, they say they add omega-3 and 6 fatty acids for inflammatory help. I'm assuming that they're adding this in the form of fish oil. Of course, again, both products have fish oil in it. And then the next thing they say is that they control the levels of magnesium, calcium, and phosphorus. So magnesium isn't added in either of them. Calcium is in both. And then we have phosphates, which are flavor enhancer palatins in the products on the right. So there are some differences, but just looking at the ingredients alone, you don't really see any glaring uh, ex you know, differences. So I would like to know, press pause on this video and comment below which one, left or right, do you think is the prescription food and the which one is the non-prescription food. I'm curious to see if you can tell the difference. So the one on the left is the prescription food. And also I'd like to point out the prices between these products. So the one on the left is $5.28 per pound if you get the 17.6 pound bag. And the one on the right, the non-prescription food is $3.48 per pound if you get the 15 and a half pound bag. Now these products don't have the same exact pounds available, but that's the closest comparison that we can get. And it's interesting to me because the prescription diet does have fewer ingredients, but most of those ingredients are carbohydrates. And we know that because number one, the manufacturer tells us on the website, this is the number amount of, this is the number of carbs that are in the product. And number two, the product name rule tells us that there's less chicken in the product. When you bring down one ingredient, you have to increase the other. And when you compare them side by side, it seems like the one on the right you know, even though it isn't ideal, of course, because it's dry and there's still carbohydrates in it. But product number two, the non-prescription food 
is the one that would seem better because it's lower in carbs and there's more meat in the product. Now, the main difference really is that the potassium citrate is higher on the list in the prescription food. So since the ingredients are listed in descending order, that would mean that there's probably more potassium citrate in the prescription food. And they do reference studies that that can prove that potassium citrate does inhibit the formation of crystals and uroliths. But I think that we should be relying on the actual food and not additives to help our cats be healthy. You know, like I mentioned, a dry dehydrating food is not appropriate for any cat, but especially cats with urinary problems. And, you know, I know kidney and urinary is, is separate issues and separate foods, but with kidney disease, what's one of the solutions that they tell you? Give them fluids, right? You need moisture, aka water, fluids, and electrolytes. You need to hydrate the body so that things can run smoothly. And the same can be said for urinary problems. Now, let's say I adopted a cat who's on this prescription dry food. You know, what would I do? I would switch to the wet food version of that prescription food and then transition to raw because raw is ideal, it's fresh, bioavailable, and it's high in moisture. So that's going to help run things smoothly. And I would use my transition plan right over Mia to get my cat from dry to wet and then from wet to raw. Thanks for watching.